Welcome to Cheese In Depth. I'm Michael Landis and today I'm going to talk about the American Cheese Society American Cheese Month. I have 42 American artisan cheeses. I'm not going to talk about them all right now. I'm going to concentrate on the blues. Why the blues? Well, these happen to be exceptional award-winning cheeses. I have Rogue Creamery, Rogue River Blue. I have Jasper Hill Farm, Bailey Hazen Blue, and the Car Valley Cheese Company, Glacier Penta Creme Blue. I want to start off with the Rogue Creamery, Rogue River Blue. The best cheese in the world. At the 2019 World Cheese Award, with 260 judges and over 3,800 cheeses, it was crowned the best cheese in the world. This is a first for American Artisan Blue, and this cheese absolutely deserves it. It is a rich, buttery cheese with an earthiness to it. This is actually an Equinox cheese, which means that this is made in the autumn where we get the best milks from the cows. It is wrapped in Syrah grape leaves that are soaked in Clear Creek Pear Brandy. And it's aged for about 15 months. This gives it a very, very rich and creamy texture. The Jasper Hill Farm Bailey Hazen Blue. This is a reserve supreme champion at the International Cheese Awards. They also won three additional trophies at that time. Bailey Hazen Blue is a Jasper Hill Farm original and it's made with whole raw milk. Fudge-like texture, toasted nut sweetness, and a lot of little spicy character to it. The paste is dense and creamy. You can really see that here and you can really see how much blue veining that this particular cheese has. It's a beautiful cheese. Next up is Car Valley Cheese Company with the Glacier Pennant Creme Blue. This won Best USA Cheese at the International Cheese Awards. It's a cow's milk cheese with an addition of a tremendous amount of cream. They say substantial, but taste this, it's tremendous. It's aged for about four months. Its texture is smooth and cream-like. Flavors are earthy and rich with a distinctive lactic note. When I start talking about blues, I always get somebody that says, oh, I tried blues before, but I didn't like them. Well, it's kind of like going into the produce department and picking up a vegetable, taking a bite and going, nah, I don't like that. There's so many different blues. There's so many different flavors, so many different characteristics to them that you're bound to find something that's really amazing for your own palate. Some people like earthy, some people like tart or tangy, and they get then all those flavors. Sometimes they're so buttery that it's rich and drippy. So you have a lot of options, not only just in the specialty cheese case, but also in the dairy case. By buying one of the American artisan cheeses, you're supporting the farmers and the cheesemakers' families.